Well, I hope you had a great weekend, final weekend of June. And uh, yes, the Los Angeles Dodgers have taken three out of four against the Chicago Cubs. How about Zach McKinstry with the grand slam and playing Kershaw, pitching eight innings of one run ball. And Bickford having a scoreless ninth. And, and how about that game winning home run yesterday by Cody Bellinger? And yes, the Dodgers are only three and a half back of the hated Giants. But yes, the Giants unfortunately won two out of three in Oakland. And the Angels avoid the sweep in Tampa Bay, though. I mean, I think he's sort of always had but a little something extra, like even the Angels then travel to New York to take on the Yankees. And then we face the hated Giants for two. So hopefully we can catch fire at the right time. And only uh, two Angels got selected to the All-Star game as starters. Mike Trout and Shohei Otani, even though Trout's injured. The Dodgers have five starters on their all-star lineup that are that are going to go to the possibly go to the all-star game, or these are finalists. Uh, Max Muncy is the leading vote getter at first base. Um, Gavin Lux is in third place in second base. Uh, Justin Turner is on the ballot too. And so is Chris Taylor and Mookie Betts. Um, Will Smith and Corey Seager didn't make the cut. But it's likely that Corey's going to come back, like, possibly after the All-Star break so he can heal. Uh, same with Mike Trout. But uh, uh, the Angels um, are 37 and 40 right now. The Dodgers are... 47 and 31 and uh, how about some the Milwaukee Bucks take a two games to one lead over the Atlanta Hawks with the 113-102 win and yes the Phoenix Suns are just one win away from going to the NBA Finals with an 84-80 win last night so the matchup is almost there the one I wanted Suns and Bucks so it's getting there and, uh, well, a happy birthday to Jeff Conine and Jim Edmonds. And, of course, a happy belated birthday to Derek Jeter. And uh, let's just hope that uh, we, had, we had good weather this weekend, too, here in, the, in L.A. But other parts of the West Co Coast and... California are much hotter, you know, like the deserts and the valleys. They're going to have excessive heat warnings out there. And Phoenix is going to be very hot tomorrow where it's going to be like 109 degrees. And hopefully Phoenix can get it done. And if Phoenix does win, it will be their first trip to the NBA Finals since 1993. And um, they'll have the home court advantage. And they'll have plenty of time to rest. Meanwhile, I'll cut you all later and have a great night. Um, amen.